All right, let's talk about colorizing a image. Okay, so the first thing, if you're dealing with a um, image right from your camera, you want to go through all your adjustment steps first. Okay, um, I'm going to pretend like I did that. All right, I'm going to duplicate my layer. I'm going to double click it. This is my fixed layer. All right. So let's say I went through all those adjustments. So I went through levels, I went through uh, vibrance, I went through color balance, I did my dodging and burning and brightening, and this is the end result, okay? Now, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make it black and white. Well, we had a project, um, project number four that was black and white, so you come up here and you click on the black and white adjustment. And then you go ahead and adjust this. Now, I'm mostly concerned about what I'm not going to colorize. I'm going to colorize the umbrella, so I'm looking more at the little girl in the background when I make my adjustments here. Okay. okay. Now, I have this black and white layer and it gives me a layer mask automatically right over here. What I want to do is I want to paint on that layer to bring back the color, the underlying layer, which is color. So I'm going to click on that, make sure that this is selected, and then I'm going to go over and grab a brush, okay, make sure I'm painting with the opposite color, which is black, since the mask is white. All right, um, I'm going to get a relatively big brush. Right bracket makes it larger, left bracket makes it smaller. Or you could size it by right clicking here. The hardness should be set not totally to 100%, but in the high 90s maybe. Press return to get that to go away. And then all I have to do is start to paint. got to be careful around the edges. Now remember, if you go outside of this, okay, um, a little bit, you could just hit the X key and that will swap it to white paint and then you can paint it back if you want to. Then I hit the X key and I swap it back to black and then I continue painting. I, I want to do like a little bit at a time just in case I make a mistake and have to undo something. It doesn't undo the whole umbrella. Okay, so you get the idea here. I'm going to be very careful on the edges. It's going to take me a while okay, to do a really good job. And that's part of your grade. I'm going to go and make sure that your edges are nice and that the edge looks really good, okay? All right, so once you're completely done with that, you always follow up black and white with levels. So I'm gonna go to my levels adjustment. So even though I have levels here, after I do a black and white, I always wanna follow up with levels, okay? And then I can come in here and adjust my levels the way I want them. white in a little bit, black in a little bit. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, a lot of times um, when you bring back color in a black and white image, it tends to look oversaturated, too bright. Not in this case because the colors are already a little bit muted, so I would not have to do anything after I finish the umbrella. I think it would look good. But sometimes when it looks just too fake and too bold, you might want to add a vibrance layer and drain some of the saturation of the color out of there. Okay, Not for this image though, but for a lot of images, you're going to have to do that step. All right, so this would be, this would go into your edited folder for that project with all my layers. Hope that helps.